All through 2024, while most inexperienced traders had been buying gold well above $2,000 for an eventual break to new all-time highs, we had actually been waiting for an eventual intermediate cycle decline. And indeed, yesterday gold sliced through this support zone just above $2,000 all in one strong swoosh down. And while the 14-day RSI has already come pretty close to oversold, it isn't at oversold yet. It's at 36.4 right now, and we are likely still have another few days for an eventual daily as well as intermediate cycle low in gold. For now, though, it's a little early. The daily cycle is only 28 days long. Usually those last anywhere around one and a half to two months. The intermediate cycle is only 131 days long. Usually these intermediate cycles in gold last anywhere around a half a year, although sometimes they can be extremely long, as in over here in early 2022 or very short, as in early 2021. So in the very short term, I'm uh, pretty cautious on gold. I think it's declining down into the intermediate cycle low. But as I've been mentioning over the last several videos already, that will be a very good buying opportunity into that eventual rally into a new intermediate cycle, which might actually give us new all-time highs. And uh, one potential uh, trigger for this eventual intermediate cycle low is perhaps the March FOMC meeting. So let's have a look at the expectations for the rates. The expectations have changed quite significantly over the last month or so. This blue line over here is the probability of the rates staying where they are at around 525 to 550 basis points. The red line is the probability of rates declining slightly and the green line is the probability of rates declining significantly. Moving from the left to the right of the chart, we move from the expectations a month ago to a week ago to the expectations for the FOMC meeting right now. We see that the probability of uh, no changes in rates has increased from only 19% a month ago to over 90% right now. And of course, as rates are expected to stay strong, that isn't a good sign for gold. Although this expectation is already probably peaking out, we still have perhaps another several days of a creep upwards in this expectation, perhaps moving from 90 and a half points to anywhere around 95 points. That's all the way down into perhaps mid-March, giving us a bit of a decline in gold, perhaps a test of this 200 day moving average for that eventual intermediate cycle low. And yes, as markets usually like to throw inexperienced traders out of a relatively profitable trade, we might actually see a false breakdown below the 200-day moving average into that intermediate cycle low. But again, that will be your buying opportunity. That's when most of the market participants will be bearish. That's when the market sentiment will be down through the floor and that proverbial blood will be flowing on the streets. So let's have a look at this form of market sentiment, gold optimism index. As I mentioned in uh, several of my recent videos, in a relatively good precious metals environment, the, the optics drops below the level of 50 for that intermediate cycle low. Whereas uh, for a difficult period in precious metals, as in let's say mid-2022, intermediate cycle lows are accompanied by this uh, optics dropping below 40 and often below the level of 30. We are likely entering a good precious metals environment right now, so perhaps a drop below this 50 level might be enough, perhaps over the next one or two weeks. At the moment though, as I have been advising over the last several weeks already, we still have a little bit of caution to exercise over the short term. And this outlook actually aligns with what seasonality tells us. Going back to 2014, gold does usually have a bit of a dip down into mid-March. So again, as I have been emphasizing over the last several videos, you still want to exercise caution with precious metals in a very short term, waiting for that relatively rare buying opportunity. And uh, yes, it will be scary buying precious metals under this 200 day moving average. But again, you don't want to trade with your emotions. You want to trade based on what the data shows you. For much more on the data driven approach to trading and investing, join us at myfinanceteacher.org. Just scroll down over here and uh, you will see this join now button. See you on the other side. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye bye.